This is an introduction to the MIT Collaboratorium. The Collaboratorium is an innovative internet tool whose goal is to enable better collaborative deliberation, which we can define as the systematic exploration, evaluation, and convergence on solution ideas, particularly for complex problems like climate change, and to be used mainly with large, diverse, and distributed groups of participants, including stakeholders and experts. This presentation will introduce you to the concepts underlying the Collaboratorium. We will cover what's wrong with current collaborative deliberation tools and how can the Collaboratorium help. So what is wrong with current deliberation tools? These include such systems as forums, blogs, email, instant messaging, wikis, and so on. In all of these systems, the interactions within them are organized by time. So people will make posts and other posts will be made in response to them run right after another. And this results in several important problems. One is the issue of scattered content. Discussions in a time-centric system typically meander from topic to topic in an unsystematic way, producing scattered content and haphazard coverage. So points that are made on a given topic may appear widely scattered throughout the discussion stream. Another issue is that people tend to cluster their discussions into multiple what we can call balkanized um, groups where they tend to talk just to people who are like-minded and not to the, the larger community. A second important issue is what we can call the soapbox problem. The last to speak in time-centric systems is the last to be heard, which incurs lots of redundant post cycles, especially for controversial topics and small voices as a result tend to get drowned out. The third major issue with time-centric systems is that there tends to be no inherent bias to well well-founded argumentation. Uh, there is um, evidence and good posts right next to posts that are based on bias or outright spam or lies. This creates a lot of noise. So we have the issues of scattered content, the soapbox problem, and flawed argumentation which has three important effects. One is that the content is often flawed and incomplete. Second, it can be hard to make sure your voice is heard if you have something useful to say. And third, perhaps most importantly, it's hard to find the good stuff amongst all the noise. Argument mapping can help with this. It does so by the simple but powerful trick of organizing contributions by topic rather than by time. Contributions are broken down into issues, ideas and arguments. An issue represents a problem that needs to be solved. An idea represents an approach for addressing that issue and an argument represents a point for or against an idea. A for point is called a pro and against point is called a uh, con. Every point can only appear once and is attached to the point it logically refers to. A discussion in an argument map would always begin with an issue which represents the question to be addressed. That would be linked to one or more ideas representing uh, ways of addressing that issue. Ideas themselves can raise new issues and those issues of course can raise their own uh, can have their own ideas responding to them. Every idea can have a whole tree of pros and cons interleaved with each other that discuss the merits of that idea. Let's look at an example. Let's say we want to come up with a government policy to meet targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The starting issue in this case would be something like, what government policy can best meet our targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions? Several of us have some ideas, so we enter them. One is the idea of using a carbon tax. The second is the idea of using cap and trade. Each of these ideas, however, raise other questions. If we use carbon taxes, for example, we need to decide how high should the taxes be, so we enter an issue for that purpose. If we use cap and trade, to give another example, we need to decide how the emission certificate should be distributed. Should they, for example, be given away for free by the government? That would be one idea. Or should they be sold to the highest bidder, let's say through an auction? That would be a second idea for that issue. Finally, we might want to capture some of the pros and cons of these different ideas. These arguments represent the debate around an idea. So for example, for cap and trade in general, we might note as a con that cap and trade is prone to be gained by industry. 
and someone may add a pro supporting that point which says you're right see the European Union experience so what are the benefits of using argument mapping in this way first of all there is no scattering all the content on a given topic is co-located regardless of who authored it there's no soapbox problem because each point can only appear in the argument map once so there's no room for repetition small voices can be heard and there is a bias towards well-founded arguments the system makes the presence or absence of arguments for against ideas quite visible so the result is you have more complete better supported argument all voices can be heard and it's easy to find the good stuff so to reiterate what is the role of authors in a system like this first you have to unbundle which means you have to break your thoughts into points that each contain just one issue idea or argument second you have to locate your posts correctly in the argument map which means search the map to see where your points belong and whether they are already present then you have to enter your point if it's a new point you attach it to the issue idea or argument it logically refers to if it's a point that's already made to some extent in the map you can refine it to incorporate um, any additions that you may have and very importantly you need to follow the live and let live rule if you disagree with someone you can add a con argument or you can add a competing idea but do not edit their posts to undercut them you should only edit a post if your goal is to strengthen it the result is is that the argument map captures the strongest ideas and arguments for each different perspective now why bother this does sound like a lot of extra trouble uh, potentially compared to let's say just a uh, threaded discussion what's in it for me in a word impact argument maps represent the kind of distilled and organized knowledge that people are hungry for if you have something important and unique to offer it's much more likely to be seen in an argument map which is compact than in traditional form which has a huge amount of repetition and highly variable quality now it takes practice to be able to follow these rules correctly and some people may even choose to ignore these rules in the hope of sabotaging the discussion this is where a special class of user known as moderators come in their task is to one check pending posts all posts are initially pending to ensure that they are structured properly which means they're unbundled named typed and located properly if there are problems with the posts the uh, role of the moderators is to point them out by leaving comments and in simple cases to just fix them second once a pending post is well structured then it can be given to certified status by the moderators only certified posts count in the sense that only certified posts can be viewed or rated by people other than authors or editors moderators are also charged with removing clearly inappropriate posts for example abusive posts or spam but otherwise their job is to remain strictly content neutral they are not there to decide which ideas issues or arguments are good or bad they are simply there to ensure that the structure is uh, well organized finally they are charged with as needed reorganizing the argument map which means clustering related posts into uh, clumps to make it easier to find stuff the role of the community at large which includes authors editors readers and so on is to discuss the posts by leaving comments on them in order to raise questions suggest improvements and otherwise help make the posts better also to rate if users can rate posts in order to highlight which are the most important issues promising ideas and compelling arguments this makes high quality work salient and encourages the community to do good work we hope you'll join us help create better ways to do large-scale collective deliberation learn more about critical challenges like climate change contribute your expertise to help solve these problems find others like yourself throughout the world we hope you enjoy using the collaboratorium if you'd like to learn more about the system go to the website for the MIT Center for Collective Intelligence http colon colon slash slash cci.mit.edu thanks